The evolution of hospitals is a fascinating journey through time, reflecting the changing attitudes towards health, medicine, and the care of individuals in society. The earliest hospitals laid the groundwork for the complex healthcare systems we see today, each contributing unique elements that have shaped modern medicine. In Sri Lanka, the Mihintal Hospital, founded in 437 BCE by King Panduka Paya, stands as the first recorded hospital in history. This pioneering institution was not merely a sanctuary for the sick, but a testament to the advanced understanding of health and wellness during that era. Archaeological excavations at Mihintale have unveiled a rich tapestry of medicinal baths, stone beds, and grinding stones used for preparing herbal remedies, indicating a sophisticated approach to health care. The practices here likely drew from Ayurveda, the ancient Indian system of medicine that emphasizes balance and holistic treatment. The hospital served both Buddhist monks and the general public, highlighting an early recognition of the need for accessible health care. This inclusive approach set a precedent for future health care systems, emphasizing the importance of compassion and care for all, regardless of social standing. As we shift our gaze to the Roman Empire, we encounter the Valetudinaria, the earliest Western hospitals established between 300 BCE and 476 CE. These military hospitals were primarily designed for soldiers and slaves, reflecting the Roman army's need for a robust medical infrastructure to maintain its fighting force. The Valetudinaria were equipped with separate wards for different ailments, surgical tools, and strict hygiene practices, showcasing an early understanding of the importance of sanitation in health care. Although these hospitals were not open to the general public, their existence marked a significant step forward in organized medical care, laying the groundwork for future hospital systems in Europe. The Byzantine Empire brought forth a new dimension to hospital care in the 4th century CE, with Emperor Constantine I founding the first Christian public hospitals. These institutions, often run by monasteries, were dedicated to caring for the poor, sick, and needy, embodying the Christian ethos of charity. Notable hospitals like the Xenodochium in Constantinople and the Pantocrator Monastery Hospital became centers of healing that offered free medical care. This model of charity-driven health care highlighted the importance of community welfare and established a framework for public health that would resonate through the ages. The presence of doctors and nurses, along with the organization of separate wards for various illnesses, demonstrated an early understanding of specialized care, which remains a cornerstone of modern medical practice. The Islamic world further revolutionized the concept of hospitals with the establishment of Bimuristans between 805 CE and the 13th century. These hospitals, initiated by Caliph Harun al-Rashid in Baghdad, were groundbreaking in their inclusivity, welcoming patients from all walks of life, irrespective of wealth or religion. The Bimaristans emphasized scientific medicine, moving beyond mere religious healing practices. They were often attached to medical schools, fostering an environment of learning and innovation that trained future generations of doctors. Noteworthy institutions like the Al-Mansuri Hospital in Cairo, which treated up to 4,000 patients daily, and the Adudi Hospital in Baghdad, which featured a pharmacy and medical school, exemplified the advanced medical practices of the time. The Bimerstans introduced essential innovations, such as separate wards for different diseases, pharmacies, early forms of quarantine, and even psychiatric care, laying the foundation for the comprehensive healthcare systems we recognize today. As we reflect on the contributions of these early hospitals, it becomes clear that each civilization played a crucial role in shaping the landscape of modern medicine. The Mihintale Hospital introduced the concept of organized healthcare, while the Roman military hospitals established the importance of medical infrastructure. Byzantine hospitals highlighted the value of charity and public health, and the Islamic Bimaristans pioneered scientific approaches to medicine and education. Together, these institutions forged a path toward the hospitals we know today, characterized by their accessibility, specialization, and commitment to patient care. The legacy of these early hospitals extends beyond their historical significance. They offer valuable lessons for contemporary healthcare systems, 
The principles of inclusivity, compassion, and scientific inquiry that emerged from these ancient institutions continue to inform our understanding of health and medicine. As we navigate the complexities of modern healthcare, it is essential to remember the foundations laid by our predecessors who recognized the intrinsic value of caring for the sick and the vulnerable. In conclusion, the earliest hospitals in the world represent a remarkable evolution in the understanding and organization of healthcare. From the Mihintail Hospital's holistic approach to the scientific advancements of the Bemaristans, each institution contributed vital elements to the tapestry of medical history. As we continue to advance in our understanding of health and wellness, we must honor the legacy of these early pioneers and strive to uphold the principles of care, compassion, and inclusivity that they championed. The journey of hospitals is not merely a chronicle of buildings or systems. It is a testament to humanity's enduring quest to care for one another in times of need.